What's up, YouTube? Ryan here. Welcome back to 1517 Films, where in every episode I'm always contending for the faith, once for all, delivered to the saints. And today we're talking about quality Christian content. So who needs church anymore, right? I mean... Am I right? We don't need to go to church. We can watch it on YouTube or we can live stream it from our church on Facebook. We don't actually have to go. Who needs stuffy old hymnals and heavy old Bibles to lug around? We've got the interwebs now. We don't need any of this stuff. Well, you're wrong. You still need to go to church. You still need to be in the Word every single day. And I highly recommend having yourself a hymnal as well. Uh, but the internet is a tool that can and ought be used by Christians. And so what we're going to do today is talk about filtering through the garbage of mainline American Protestantism on the internet and finding some quality stuff. And the best way I thought to do that is just show you a little bit of what's on my screen uh, and we can go from there. Some of my go-tos, I'd share them with you. No one's sponsoring me for this. Uh, it's just the stuff that I go to. And even if they were sponsoring me, they wouldn't have anything to give me Anyway, so this is just stuff that I go to. So I'm going to take you through my computer and some of the apps that I have on my phone uh, just to get sure or to... <laughs> Round a bound. Round a bound. You know what? Let's move forward. That's fine. Silence. <laughs> Every episode, always with tongues. All right, so I'm just going to show you some of the stuff on my screen, show you some of the apps that I have on my phone. If you want to use them, that's great. If you don't want to use them, that's cool too. Also, uh, there's a comment section below. If there's apps or stuff that you like to use or resources you want to share with other people that watch this channel, feel free to pop some links in the comments below. Would love to see it. Would love to see what... If it's not tongues, it's bumping the mic. This is what I get for trying a new setup. Uh... <laughs> Drop them in the comments below. Would love to see what you're sharing, what you're looking at. Uh, and uh, as always, if you like it, definitely be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, those are the rules of YouTube. Uh, so let's get started. Let's take a look and see what is on my computer. So I've got the screen up here. I'm going to drop my eyes a little bit uh, and we'll go through. So first thing you can see here uh, is right up here. It's a Google book. Now, I do have a physical copy of this. Uh, it's called the Apostolic Fathers, and this is a phenomenal resource because, uh, and as you can, this is what you get for PDFs here. But because it, uh, well, let's just drop down this way, shall we? That's not going to work. All right. So what you get, uh, as you can see here uh, on this page up here, uh, right here, you can see it's in the original Greek. Uh, down here, you can see that it's translated. So it's going to go every other page for you. So that's really nice. So what this is going to contain uh, is the writings of the earliest Christians from the first several centuries of the Christian church. So uh, this is a great resource if someone says, hey, um, baptism has always been uh, by immersion, and you can go to the Didache from the second century and show, actually, while the church did baptize by immersion, it also allowed for baptism by pouring water on the head three times in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, if there was an absence of water, because it's not the water that makes the baptism, it is the water comprehended with God's word and promise that makes a baptism. Otherwise, it would just be plain water and, and not a baptism. <clears throat> So this is an excellent resource as well. Uh, I have the physical book that I like to read, but it is still here. Uh, let's take a look and see what this is. RedeemerTheologicalAcademy.org. Okay, so uh, this is great. I don't necessarily go here all that often, but it's a phenomenal resource, as you can see. Um, it's got a radio program linked to it. Um, uh, Pat, Pastor Ketchermeyer, he's always on issues, etc. We'll talk about that. Um, the mobile device apps. Uh, reading Isaiah with Luther, Christ in the Old Testament, lectures, uh, psalms, radio stations, other resources. So this is a great resource as well, uh, RedeemerTheologicalAcademy.org. All right. Next, we've got um, higher things. Now, um, the in the Lutheran Church, we have something called a National Youth Gathering. It's basically where we send our kids off to this big rock concert, uh, and they're going to get a little bit of Jesus theology there too. But uh, higher things dares children and youth and teenagers to be authentically historically Lutheran. And so they've got a lot of stuff. They've got retreats. They've got conferences. They've got resources. Look at that. Um, magazines, 
Uh, you can follow them on Facebook. That's phenomenal as well. Um, they share lots of videos, lots of articles, in incredible deep stuff that dares you and challenges you to actually be Lutheran. So this is a great resource as well. Bookofconcord.org. This is an incredible resource. This is uh, the go-to when I was doing the daily readings from the Book of Concord for this channel, which I would love to pick up again. This is where I was reading them from because the text is in the public domain. So if you want to know what's in the background, what's at the heart and core of everything that I believe as a confessional Lutheran, it is right here. These are the Lutheran confessions. These are what we believe, teach, and confess. These are the, the declarations of faith that we will stand upon and die for uh, because these confessions say the same thing that the Bible says. So you can see it's got uh, preface, it's got the creeds, it's got the Augsburg Confession, the definitive crowning jewel of Lutheran theology is the Augsburg Confession presented to the emperor when he wanted to combine the Roman Catholic Church and the Lutherans in doctrines so that somehow we could combine forces against the Turk. Uh, it was just a trick and the Lutherans didn't fall for it. And uh, we said, before you, <laughs> before we let you take from us our faith in the word of God, we will kneel and let you cut off our heads. So uh, the large catechism, the small catechism, uh, the formula of Concord, uh, a treatise on the power and primacy of the Pope uh, is a phenomenal resource to read to understand why Lutherans believe, teach, and confess that the office of the papacy is the Antichrist. And uh, let's scroll down here a little bit. Book of Concord on audio. This is an incredible resource as well because uh, it, it, and you can have it on the phone. You can pop in your earbuds. You can listen to the Lutheran confessions as you're going about your day. So this is a great resource um, to have access to all the time. Moving on. <clears throat> issues etc org now issues etc is uh, Lutheran talk radio uh, what it does is they'll talk about books of the Bible or themes in the Bible or Lutheran doctrine they'll talk about what's going on in the world what's going on in the country what's going on in politics what's going on in society and all of it looking at it through the lens of a Christian worldview so this is a great resource to get a fair uh, objective Christian view uh, from the garbage that we see on the news all the time. Uh, part and parcel to this uh, is um, lpr.org, uh, which is phenomenal as well. So let's type that in. I've only got one hand. I think it's lpr.org. I have the app on my phone. Oh, you know what? No, it's not lpr.org. I'm stupid. Let's stop. Uh, it's Lutheran Public Radio. Uh, sacred music for the world. Now, what I like about Lutheran Public Radio, you can see they're playing uh, Bach at the moment. Uh, the library of this radio station spans the 2,000-year history and heritage of the church. So rather than listening to the garbage that's being pumped out by the Hillsong Factory or by any other mainline American rock band that's trying to water down the message of Jesus Christ to sell uh, records to as many denominations as possible rather than listening to that garbage that has a positive message you can listen to lutheran public radio and you're going to get hard-hitting deep-rooted theology uh, and it's going to be incredibly biblically accurate because it's filtered through the lens of the scriptures so that you're only getting theologically true music so you don't have to have your brain in overdrive dissecting the theology of the latest chris tomlin song uh, or the latest whatever uh, a heavy death metal band or whatever that claims to be Christian, you can just get good, authentic uh, Christian radio. Uh, and there's an app for this uh, that it's LPR uh, is the app, and you can listen to on demand uh, issues, etc. will archive all of their episodes, or you can listen live 3 to 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, but if you miss it, you can archive it, and in the app, you can switch back and forth. You can listen to the Lutheran Public Radio. You can listen to... Um, the, the issues, etc. It's it's incredible. So what I've also got bookmarked up here is Pirate Christian Radio. And this is a great resource, um, if it works, um, to all sorts of different podcasts and blogs and things like that that you can see. And part and parcel to Pirate Christian Radio is another phenomenal resource, uh, Fighting for the Faith, which you can see, uh, you can access through piratechristian.com. Fighting for the Faith is a podcast uh, by Pastor Chris Rosebro, uh, where you can see he goes through uh, all of the things that the main uh, preachers, teachers, evangelists, prophets and prophetesses, and self-proclaimed apostles are teaching uh, in the name of God and comparing it to the Word of God to find that it falls egregiously short. 
So these are some of the resources that I have archived at the top of my screen that I can get to at a click. But let's go back to YouTube. And uh, I've got to get a better setup. This is ridiculous. So let's go back to YouTube and you can see some of the subscriptions, subscriptions here. So, uh, Fighting for the Faith. Um, <clears throat> this is the YouTube channel. This is great. If you want to get good, solid belly laughs, man, and see this pastor's face while he's responding to the things these evangelicals are saying, definitely subscribe to this channel. Uh, because on the podcast, you'll hear it. Uh, but on this, you actually get to watch. Uh, and it, it's, it's witty, it's funny, it's snotty, it's sarcastic but it's all focused on scripture and it's all coming at you from a, a standpoint of we want to get the gospel out to you. So another one that I would subscribe to, that I do subscribe to, and I'd recommend you as well, is Pastor Brian Wolfmuller. Uh, he is the pastor of Hope Lutheran Church in Aurora, Colorado. Uh, pastor Rosebro is Kanzvinger Lutheran Church in Minnesota, I believe. Uh, so this is great. So he's got uh, these little devotions that he does. He does Sunday drive home every Sunday after he preaches. He films himself driving home, re reflecting on what he just preached on. He does this grappling with the text kind of thing where he'll just look at a snippet of scripture and take you through word by word, phrase by phrase, what the history of that is, how it relates to other scripture passages and how we can know for sure what that verse is really saying about Christ for us. Uh, he also shows... Uh, he also talks about real, real issues. So this was a phenomenal video uh, about women's equality and how to understand that concept as the world sees it from a Christian perspective. You can also see that he has a show on KFUO and he'll record himself um, filming, he'll film himself doing that show and that's incredible as well. Or you'll could see he'll talk about his book, Has American Christianity Failed? Uh, and that's uh, phenomenal as well. Uh, Concordia Publishing House, uh, is great because, as you can see, it's all into playlists. So this is great to get familiar with good quality Christian music as well, if you're the kind of person. Uh, Pastor Jordan Cooper, uh, if he loads, he's brilliant as well. He just got <clears throat> his doctorate, I believe. Um, and so he's he's an incredible theologian, not the same uh, synod of Lutheran that I am, but still a Lutheran nonetheless. And he dives deep into some philosophical stuff, and it's incredible. You're definitely going to be edified uh, by listening to that. Uh, this one's a little bit retired here, Worldview Everlasting, um, but it's incredible as well. This is is, is responsible for making me uh, a Lutheran because it answered, that was noisy. Yes, you can have your cooking spray. Uh, <laughs> because uh, that's, that's what happens when you have a, a MacBook and, a, and an iPhone, they sync. So I got a text message. So this answered all of my questions, at, that I, lingering questions that I had as an evangelical, and it does it in a highly entertaining and edifying way. Uh, I can't recommend Redeemer uh, Fort Wayne enough. If you want to see what authentic, historic Christian worship looks like, what Lutheran liturgy looks like and ought look like, uh, and I've had the privilege of worshiping at Redeemer in Fort Wayne, and this is a beautiful site. As you can see, they post on a regular basis matins and vespers, and and they post their Bible studies and they post their their worship services, um, and it's an incredible resource. If you want to laugh, guys, definitely you're going to want to check out Luther and Satire. Odds are you've seen, uh, especially those two mongrels, uh, <laughs> Donald and Crow and Connell. Uh, you've seen them around before. An incredible resource. Uh, it'll it'll keep you laughing, and it, it teaches stuff by making fun of it. Uh, so that's a great resource as well. Uh, and uh, here we go. Here's another Concordia Publishing House one that uh, is incredible. So there's Pastor Fisk. You can see him right here. Uh, he was the pastor who was the head of uh, World of Everlasting, but he's so brilliant, uh, and he's published multiple books. Now he's being stretched so thin that he doesn't have time to commit to Worldview Everlasting, but it's archived. Definitely uh, tune into the old stuff. You will be blessed. Uh, Pastor Fisk also has a podcast called Rev Fisk Raw, where he dives deep into the Bible. Uh, he's got an incredible series going on the book of Revelation, but he'll also take a break sometimes, and he'll read to you from a work of fiction that he's writing on, and that's a brilliant story in and of itself. So definitely, uh, these are some great resources online for you. Now let's dive into some cell phone stuff, some apps. So I have on my phone, uh, first things first, Bible.is. Bible.is is a great app because it gives you the Word of God at your fingertips when you're on the go. And if you're really on the go, uh, it's got the whole Bible as an audio file, uh, one chapter of the Bible at a time. 
Uh, it's dramatized, so there's different actors reading different parts. There's music, there's sound effects if you're into that. Uh, it's just a dynamic way to be in the word when you're on the go. Or if you're like me and I'm doing chores around the house or watching my kids uh, and I want, I need to be in the word, Bible.is is a phenomenal resource as well. Luther Small Catechism is a free app from Concordia Publishing House. This is going to be the basics of Lutheran doctrine. It's going to be uh, the Ten Commandments, the Apostles' Creed, the Lord's Prayer, Baptism, the Lord's Supper, and Confession and Absolution. And also... Um, you know, the table of duties, Christian prayer, stuff like that. I'm currently making, working on a, a 24 by 36 inch poster for my children because my son asked me to write down the prayers that we say at night so that he could remember them. And I thought, why not? I have the catechism posters up in the living room. Why not uh, make a poster for him for his bedroom? So the book catechism uh, is a great free resource. Now this one, Pray Now, will cost a, a relatively substantial amount of money. I think it was about 20 bucks when I bought it, but it's incredible. Uh, let's see if I can get it to work for you here um, with the microphone up. Now what I love about this is it has music for the, the Psalms. So you can chant the Psalms. The Psalms are all marked out. You're going to, if you're not familiar, you're going to see some weird markings. It's marked out for chanting uh, because as a great ancient theologian once says, uh, once said, he who chants prays twice. So let's, uh, let's see if we can get this to play uh, here. So you can hear, uh, all you got to do is hit the musical note on the bottom, hit the play button on the top, and it will play the music for you. Let's see if we can get it. And that's just one melody option. You can sift through uh, all of the uh, melodies that we have for chanting the Psalms, which is great. And it's got, it's basically that big thick, you've seen me with it before, my treasure of daily prayer condensed down into an app. Uh, I have LPR on here and I can switch back and forth between Lutheran Public Radio and Issues Etc. Issues Etc. is incredible. Uh, when I'm donating plasma, I'm always listening to Issues Etc. If I'm not listening to Fighting for the Faith, uh, because this is brilliant stuff and especially uh, amping up during Holy Week, they're going to be posting a lot of stuff to get you really focused on everything that Christ did that last week and he did it for you. Uh, they do, once a year, they do a 24-hour live marathon. It's incredible. They have one, uh, once a year, they have a conference uh, where you can meet some of these people and watch the show, watch the radio program live, and it's it's incredible that way. Um, Pastoral Care is an app that I have. Again, it's going to cost money. Uh, this is another digital copy of a book called The Pastoral Care Companion that Lutheran pastors will carry with them. It's a little book of liturgies and prayers uh, for visiting those in the hospital, for visiting the homebound, for visiting the sick, things like doing a house blessing uh, and stuff like that, uh, prayers and hymns and liturgies for all sorts of occasions. That's a great resource to have as well. You know, uh, you don't want to be caught off guard when you're asked to pray, and there's nothing wrong with consulting uh, that cloud of witnesses that has gone before us to get the perfect prayer. You are not limiting God the Holy Spirit by praying a prayer that was prayed and written down by someone else. As a matter of fact, you are freeing God the Holy Spirit. You have no control over God the Holy Spirit. He, uh, He's like the wind, uh, and he's going to do what he's going to do, and you, you can't limit God. I've been told that a lot as a Lutheran. You're limiting God by praying these pre, um, <laughs> pre-thought-out prayers, and that's simply just not true. Uh, so these are really incredible resources, guys. I thought I'd take some time to share them with you. Uh, let me know in the comments below what resources you use, what apps, what books you're reading, stuff like that. We can meet down in the comment section. As always, uh, if you like it, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button. Grab that notification bell because, as always, I'm sporadic with my uploads, although I've got huge plans for Holy Week. So there's a small chance that you're going to see some Holy Week videos, and I'm wearing literally the same outfit in every video. There's a reason for that. <laughs> I probably filmed them all in one day. Uh, so that's it, guys. Meet me in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Yes, I will come over for the cookout, Carissa. <laughs> We've got one day before we get hit with a major snowstorm. It was in the 60s, almost 70 yesterday. It's a beautiful, windy day today. And tomorrow it's going to dump anywhere from, well, some forecasts say 12 inches, some say two. So we'll see. Uh, so we're going to make the best of the weather and we're going to grill out. Uh, I tried to do this video yesterday in my living room and the power cut out because we had a big thunderstorm. Uh, to listen to everything from Hill Share, a uh, fantasy novel that he's writing with, Cool. That was fun. <laughs> I wonder what the weather's like where Ryan is right now. So that's Midwest winter. We've had one winter, yes. Uh, but what about second winter? 
Uh, <laughs> so thanks for tuning into 1517 Films. I always uh, love speaking with you. Until next time, may God richly bless you and the grace and mercy won for you by Jesus' vicarious death on the cross for all of your sins.